Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints. Now what we're showing you today is a full step-by-step -step installation guide on the Autoflex professional coatings in a high gloss finish. We'll be working on a B5, A4 in a custom mixed green color. We're gonna walk you through everything as far as the environment, the equipment, and the skill sets needed to properly install this professional grade coating. Let's begin now. The environment plays a very big role in the end result and the application of the Autoflex products, especially when the matte or the high gloss top coats are used. A professional spray booth is always going to be the best possible scenario for not only controlling dirt and debris in the air and exhaust and temperatures as well. Regarding exhaust, this product is not to be used in a closed garage style environment. Once you work your way into the top coats, the cloudiness and the amount of overspray coming off of the car is going to be extreme. A closed garage is not going to be suitable for this project. Like I said, a professional paint booth is always going to be best. What you see us doing here are simply testing and promotional videos. We're not working on cars that will be given to end users and customers. If we were going to be doing professional installations on customer cars, we would of course be doing this in a professional spray booth. A clean environment plays a massive role when using the gloss or the matte top coats especially. If you're not baking the gloss or the matte top coats and letting them air dry, they will be air drying for about 8 to 10 hours overnight. During that time, they are susceptible for dust, bugs, and debris to settle and land into the gloss or matte top coat. That's why again, a professional paint booth is going to be best. It's essential that the entire surface area of the car is perfectly clean and bone dry. Of course, there cannot be any dirt, debris, oil, grease, wax, or any type of contaminant on the paint surface at all. What we usually use for our cars is the Dip Your Car Pre-Dip Spray, sometimes even followed by rubbing alcohol on a microfiber towel. You can use your cleaning agent of your choice. Those two are proven to work. Again, you want to make sure the entire surface area of the car, every single square inch, is perfectly clean and bone dry. If you have to wash the car before applying Autoflex on the car, make sure you wash it the day before and allow a full 12 to 24 hours for the car to dry to make sure there's no moisture in between any of the cracks or areas on the car. You're going to mask the vehicle in the same fashion you would as if it was being painted. Everything that you want to avoid getting product on is going to be completely masked off using materials like brown masking paper, tape and drape, and different types of painter's tape. The main difference, however, between Autoflex coatings and traditional car paint is that you can paint over things like trim and emblems if you choose to, and then simply peel them off after the installation is complete. Autoflex professional coatings should always be sprayed out of a proper HVLP or RP spray gun hooked up to a full-size compressor. What we're using today is a Sadajet 5000 RP with an 80-gallon compressor. We'll be using a 1.8 tip for our Spray Wrap Pro base product and a 1.3 tip for our Autoflex high gloss top coat. Turbines should be avoided when using Autoflex professional coatings as they simply don't have enough power even in the four to five stage range to atomize the product properly to get the desired end result. The base or substrate product that we'll be building up before we apply our high gloss is called Spray Wrap Pro. This is the elite of the elite when it comes to the removable base coatings. What we're going to be doing today is working with strictly clear gallons of Spray Wrap Pro. Spray Wrap Pro comes in clear, pre-tinted white to be used as a base, and pre-tinted black to be used as a base. Now the layers that we're going to be applying on the car today are going to be light gray as our light primer, and then we're going to put our color coat with our custom mixed green. We're always going to start Spray Wrap Pro with two tack coats around 25 to 40% coverage on each coat. No matter what color you apply, no matter what you do, you're always gonna start Spray Wrap Pro with two tack coats first. Every coat after your tack coats are going to be fully wet out as you go. You're always going to apply a minimum of 10 wet coats of Spray Wrap Pro after your two tack coats. So a standard gloss job will consist of two tack coats, 10 wet coats of Spray Wrap Pro, and then your finishing gloss coat. Now again, what we're using today is our light gray as our primer and then our custom mixed green. Both of those will be drop-in pigments that will be added to the clear Spray Wrap Pro. 
we're going to be using two different Spray Wrap Pro drop-in tints today. One is going to be our standard light gray, which is perfect for a light gray primer to build color coats on top of. And the second is a custom mixed green pigment. What we're going to do is apply one drop-in pigment per gallon of Spray Wrap Pro. Each one will treat one full gallon. A little bit more can be used or a little bit less depending on your desired amount of coverage. Regardless of how quick the color coverage builds on the car, you're always going to go up to at least 10 wet coats of Spray Wrap Pro. Now we're going to pop open a couple gallons of our clear, put them into a larger bucket, and start mixing up our light gray. We've got both clear Spray Wrap Pro gallons into this five gallon pail. We're gonna add both of our light gray tints into the five gallon pail to make sure that the coverage and color consistency is there throughout our light gray coats. We'll start mixing them now. Again, one tint will treat one gallon at a time. Now we've poured some of the light gray tinted Spray Wrap Pro back into the smaller gallon container for easy pouring. We've got our RPS system here and we're ready to start spraying. Always for every single cup you fill, use a cone filter as the product goes into your paint cup. On a car the size of a B5A4, I'm expecting to use just about two liters, maybe two and a half liters per coat. We've got our light gray Spray Wrap Pro loaded up into the gun and we're ready to start spraying our light gray coats. We're going to be spraying the Spray Wrap Pro out of a 1.8 tip at 20 PSI. And again, starting with two tack coats and all coats after that will be wetting out. Now we've finished up with our six light gray coats and it's time to move into the color coat. What we're using for the color coat on this car is we're gonna take two gallons of clear Spray Wrap Pro. We're gonna take two Spray Wrap Pro drop-in tints, one per gallon in a custom green. And we're gonna combine those into a five gallon bucket and we're gonna add one 25 gram bag of teen green pearls. This is a very similar pearl to the uh, color tint that we're using. It's just gonna enhance the color a little bit, give it a little bit of a metallic effect when the sun hits it. That's all gonna, again, go into a five gallon bucket to make sure everything's consistent 
We're going to mix that up and start laying that on the car. Now we just finished laying our last coat of Spray Wrap Pro down on the car. To summarize our base and color coats, we started with two tack coats of light gray Spray Wrap Pro, followed by six wet coats of light gray Spray Wrap Pro, and we followed that with four wet coats of our green color coat in Spray Wrap Pro. Now just to, to backtrack a little bit, Spray Wrap Pro coats are going to take anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes to dry in between coats depending on the temperature and the humidity of where you're spraying. Now as far as when it's safe to spray your gloss, you're going to wait one hour after your last Spray Wrap Pro coat is dry to the touch. Soon as that last coat becomes dry to the touch, start the clock one hour later or any, anywhere after that is when you can drop down your gloss coat. Now what we're going to be doing is mixing up our gloss here and I want you to make sure you pay attention to the mixing ratios. Now when you purchase a gallon kit of gloss from Autoflex, you're going to get three components. The gloss, the gloss activator, and the gloss reducer. Now when you buy a full gallon kit of gloss, you're going to get just the right amount of each component to where if you mix them all together, you have a full gallon of gloss ready to spray. However, you're rarely ever going to use a full gallon of gloss on one vehicle. What we normally average is about one and a half to two liters, or about one and a half to two quarts of gloss per car. On this B5A4, without doing the roof, which is pretty much as small as a situation as you can get, we're going to be using just over a liter of gloss. What we'll do is we're going to mix up one and a half liters just to make sure we have enough. You always want to make sure you have a little bit more than you need. You don't want to be halfway through your gloss coat and decide that you need to mix more. However, you don't want to mix way more than you need because once it's mixed and activated, you can't save it anymore. The pot life on activated Autoflex gloss is just about an hour and a half or so. That means once you mix it all together and the components come together, you have about an hour and a half before the viscosity starts to thicken up and it starts to harden. So again, for this car, we're gonna mix up one and a half liters. Two liters is really safe for a standard size sedan. You probably won't even use that much on a standard size sedan. Now, when you're mixing the gloss components together, you're doing this by weight, not by volume. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is make sure you have a digital scale. Now any painting scale or food scale will work. Just make sure it measures by the grams. You can go on Amazon and grab one for like 25, 30 bucks. Now what you're going to do is measure again by grams, not by volume. Now the simplest way to remember the ratio is to just be mixing by the liter. One full liter is going to be 70% gloss, 30% activator, and then an additional 15% reducer. So again, for one liter of gloss, you're looking at 700 grams of gloss, 70%, 300 grams of activator, 30%, and then 150 grams of reducer, an extra 15%. So if you're going to be thinking to yourself, well, I wanna mix up two liters, just simply double those numbers and you've got two. 1400 grams of gloss, 600 grams of activator, 300 grams of reducer will get you two full liters. Very, very simple once you get it down, but it might take a little bit of time to get used to it. 
Now for this car, remember, we're mixing up one and a half liters. So taking that 700 grams, 300 grams, 150 grams for that one liter, we want 150% of that. So what we'll be doing is 1,050 grams of gloss, 450 grams of activator, and 225 grams of reducer. That will get us a perfect measurement for a liter and a half on this car. Now, of course, our paint cups are only one liter, so a liter and a half or more is not going to be able to be mixed into this one paint cup. We've got an empty gallon can here that will be perfect. Whenever you're mixing the components of the gloss or matte Autoflex top coats, make sure that you've got your respirator and your gloves along with you. Now a quick note about the gloss. You won't be putting any additives into the gloss at all. Anything that you want to use on your project, whether it be pearls, drop-in tints, flakes, or candies, will all be used in the Spray Wrap Pro. Any of that stuff you add to Clear Spray Wrap Pro and spray it on the car, none of it will go directly into the gloss. The gloss is simply a finishing gloss clear and that's it. We're ready to spray our gloss coat now. We've got our protective suits on and our full face masks here. We're going to be spraying again out of the SadaJet 5000 RP with a 1.3 tip. You can use anything between a 1.2 and a 1.4. We find that the 1.3 is right in the middle. We'll be spraying the gloss at 30 PSI. Now the process for spraying the gloss is you're going to spray one very light mist coat around all the surface areas of the car. Then you're going to follow that up with just one wet coat. You're only going to need the one wet coat and you're done. If you're going to be baking the car, you're going to let the car sit for about half an hour and then proceed to bake it. If you're going to air dry the car, you're going to walk away. You're done until the next day. Again, it needs anywhere between 8 to 12 hours to completely dry overnight. Let's proceed with spraying the gloss. Now it's the next day and we've let the coatings dry overnight. 
Now the coating is dry to the touch now. Make sure that you don't go to break the car down if the coating is still gummy, tacky, or sticky at all. Usually eight to 10 hours in a normal temperature will be more than enough for it to dry so that we can break it down. Now we're gonna go around the car, remove all of our masking materials. Most of the time, you're not going to need to cut any of the coating while you're removing the material, even when it's bridged over two areas. However, what we always do is walk around with a razor knife just in case if there's any areas that are bridged severely and there's a little bit of a stretch involved when removing the masking materials, we can slice that nice and clean. Let's start breaking the car down. Now to begin the unmasking and breakdown process, just focus on one section of the car at a time and remove the material slowly while paying attention to the gaps in the seams to make sure there isn't any material that's bridged over that may need to be cut. Now remember, the coating has air dried overnight and is dry to the touch and safe to touch. However, it hasn't reached its cured state yet, so it is a little bit delicate. Just keep that in mind whenever you're using any tools or anything around the material to make sure that you don't damage the surface. Autoflex Professional Coatings allows you to replicate the look and feel of an OEM or factory paint job with the added unique bonus that the product can be peeled off and removed from the car whenever the user desires. The end result is a durable, fuel-resistant, high-gloss finish that can be waxed, sealed, sanded, buffed and polished just like original factory paint. Now the car is ready to be handled, washed, and driven as soon as the masking materials are removed from the vehicle. However, we're going to give it one full week to reach its cured state before we do any paint correction, waxing, or sealing. Autoflex coatings are for professional use only. If you are a DIY level customer, I encourage you to please stick to the DIY level products that Diff Your Car has to offer. However, if you are a professional customer looking for the Autoflex professional coating line, please visit autoflexcoatings.com to find a distributor nearest you. If you have any questions about the Autoflex product line, you can email info at autoflexcoatings.com or contact an Autoflex distributor directly. Please enjoy the end result of our project. It's Fonzie. I'll see you on the next video.